大家好，欢迎回到 Desert Cyclist。我想说，新年快乐。Ayan, so it means Happy New Year. And today, I'm gonna do this at our vlogging area. And sure, if you are someone like me, na into feng shui or yung feng shui nga natin natawag na dito sa Pilipinas, starting the year by cleaning the room would give us or would bring us good luck for this year. And yun ang gagawin natin. We will also be adding some of our ornamental plants dito sa ating shelf. Join me as I clean itong ating vlogging. Area and also I'm gonna be sharing to you some tips on how we can attract more luck dito nga sa ating room or sa inyong mga bahay. For those who didn't know, I used to live in mainland China for some several years, and I just wanted to share to you yung mga practices na ginagaw nila. We have already cleaned this room yesterday before nga nito ng ating lunar year, and for today nga. I just wanted to make sure na it's gonna be extra clean. This is where we usually do our vlogs, and at the same time, we are always doing our unboxing in this area. And even if we have sprayed disinfectants to them, it's always best nga na we will be using this ultraviolet na lamp. This is something that I've been using recently, kasi nga it would really clean the air. Before we do that, kailangan natin tanggalin yung mga plants na don, kasi this would not be beneficial sa ating mga plants. Yung mga nandoon na mga plants, we will be removing all of them. Finally, we were able to clean our vlogging area and as we clean this vlogging area, we were able to remove nga yung old and unwanted and yung stagnant energy na nandito sa ating room. And also, we were now able to invite nga yung fresh and new positive energy into our room. But we have to be extra careful when adding some of our plants sa loob ng ating room kasi hindi lahat ng plants would be inviting nga yung parang good energy kasi some of the plants talaga are considered bad luck according to feng shui and I always notice this sa mga bahay nung aking mga kaibigan sa mainland China before. Sa feng shui, they also have this concept of sha chi or sharp energy. It is an attacking energy from sharp objects like what we have here from this plant and these are actually draining our personal energy. So, for example, na dito tayo sa ating vlogging area, and we have this kind of plants. So they will not be good for our personal energy. And it's always best for us to avoid pointy and yung spiky na mga plants, such as itong ating dikya. And we also have our cactus over here. And if we wanted to promote good feng shui energy, we have to remove. All of these sa ating location they are not really considered na bad plants or malas na mga halaman. It's just that we have to put them in the right na position para ma promote nga natin yung good na energy. And the best place for this one is sa ating mga balcony areas or sa ating rooftop kasi they also serve as a protection. And ever since I knew that, I started to move nga lahat ng aking cacti and the spiky plants sa kanilang tamang location. In addition, we also need to consider nga yung ating dying or yung mga neglected plant as they can also drain our energy. For example, we have here our syngonium and if you have noticed na may parang mga ganitong leaves na siya, all you have to do is simply remove or cut it. Huwag natin hayaan na nandyan yung ating plant. Before bringing any plants sa ating space, you have to make sure that you will be providing the right environment and the time, syempre, to keep them healthy. This is yung ating window sill area and that's our window. I didn't put any curtain para pag umaga, diretso nga yung pasok ng ating sunlight since yung ating sunrise is towards that direction. That's the reason why I put nga itong ating croton doon banda. And we also have our Sansevieria bacularis, nandyan sila. We also need to remember that the number 4 in Chinese is not a good number kasi when we try to pronounce number 4 sa Chinese, it's sa which means death. Kaya it's not really a very good number. And so having these parang 4 
na bacularis doon won't be a very good one kaya we will be removing one of them in front of us are the most lucky plants that we could possibly put indoors sa ating mga bahay and pinakauna nga dyan is itong ating jade and they are also known as the money plant tinawag silang money plant because of the rounded na leaves sa kanila Number two nga is yung ating lucky bamboo. I have here the variegated one. Itong mga lucky bamboo natin represents growth and adaptability. And yung number of stalks nga nila na tumutubo dyan has a symbolic meaning. So for example, yung two stalks nga, if for example dalawang stem yan or stalks, they are supposed to nourish nga itong areas of our life in terms of love. And if, for example, tatlong stocks naman siya, it would nourish nga or represents nga happiness. So, depende yan. Yung pinakalaki is 21. And yun yung usually kong ina-achieve. I have 21 stocks of this lucky bamboo dito sa ating vlogging area. And the last one is yung ating snake plant. Ito talaga yung pinaka-ultimate na lucky plant for them. Kasi sa lahat ng mga kaibigan ko, of all the houses na napuntahan ko, laging meron itong ating snake plant na ganito or tinatawag din siyang mother-in-law's tongue. It's really a very good plant. It's a succulent. Then, it's really perfect for beginners. And itong ating mga snake plants now has the quality of giving us this protective na energy including this bacularis. This one is a bird's nest on Siberia. And it's really one of my favorite kasi kahit na i-ignore natin siya for a long period of time, talagang they would really survive. This is not just my vlogging area, but it's like a mini office to me. I take down your orders here. And so when I get tired, I also have this oil diffuser done to help me relax a bit. And syempre, if you are surrounded with mga plants or anything green, then you will even feel better. I really wanted to greet everyone a happy Chinese New Year. And I hope na swertehin tayong lahat this year. And everything would be back to normal so that you can visit us here sa Baguio. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our Facebook page at Desert Succulent PH.